Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Intro for you today is Escape from Alcatraz on 4K Blu-ray. Let's take a look at the tax specs. It was shot on 35mm, it's got a 4K DI, the aspect ratio is 185 by 1, it's got DTS 5.1 and 2.0 audio options, it's a 100GB desk, the runtime is 112 minutes and it's rated 15. In terms of picture quality, Kino Lorber brings Escape from Alcatraz onto the 4K format with a new 4K restoration from the camera negative by Paramount Pictures. This new transfer offers some subtle but appreciative improvements over the previous Blu-ray releases. The film's grain structure generally remains stable and evenly spread with an appealing natural appearance throughout. It did however detect moments where it looks like some grain management was utilised and certain scenes appear smoother. These moments predominantly occur during scene transitions, but it does crop up in other areas as well. The application of this management is not too aggressive or overbearing, but the more observant viewer may notice it. The improvements to detail and clarity are good, with the 2160p resolution tightening up on the finer details and textures, and allowing the harsh bleakness of Alcatraz and the intricate complexities of the escape to be conveyed more effectively. Even with the movie's natural filmic softness, close-ups to mid and wide-range shots alike all profit from increased clarity, whether on facial features, clothing or the prison's architecture. The level of detail isn't outstanding, but it's still taken up a notch above the Blu-ray. Escape from Alcatraz isn't a particularly colourful film, which is a part of the director and cinematographer's vision of a gloomy and stark aesthetic. There are some small splashes of colour, such as the blue prison uniforms, the oranges and reds from the sunrises, and the wide range of colours in the prison library, but outside of those, the palette mainly stays on the muted side, with industrial greys, beiges and browns. All these tones are given a very subtle and tasteful boost with the HDR grading, which helps to strengthen the film's colours, while still retaining a natural appearance. Black levels are nice and strong, which is a critical component to the film's frequent darker settings, making for good depth and shadow detail without crush, and the white balance is robust, producing more natural skin tones and never blooming. Moving on to the audio quality. Whilst the previous Blu-ray featured a Dolby True HD 5.1 track, Kino's new 4K release is accompanied with DTS 5.1 and DTS 2.0 soundtracks. For the purpose of this review, I'll listen to the DTS 5.1 mix. The track's main focus is on atmospherics, with a nice level of ambience throughout the surround channels, where the wind and rain, the clunk of cell doors, prison guard footsteps, or background chatter in the prison yard, it all helps to set the scene and immerse the viewer in the story. The musical score, courtesy of the legendary Jerry Fielding, sounds appropriately gloomy and has good clarity, and dialogue comes through clearly and is easy to comprehend. To summarise, I'll give the picture a 7.3. Kino Lorber's 4K release is a decent upgrade over the previous Blu-rays, offering some moderate improvements to the overall image quality. With the age of the movie and the picture carrying a natural softness, there are some limitations to the detail and clarity alongside the use of grain management, which may be off-putting for some viewers. Aside from that, it is still the best version for the home format. And I'll give the audio a 7.4. The DTS 5.1 track is sufficient in delivering a well-balanced, atmospheric experience that places the viewer in the heart of Alcatraz. So these are my thoughts on Escape from Alcatraz on 4K Blu-ray. Will you be adding this one to your collection? Let me know down in the comments. If you've made it this far into the video, why not consider subscribing and hitting the like button, as I've got new videos coming out regularly. Thanks for watching guys, enjoy your movies, bye!